Good evening, everyone. I'd like to thank you all for coming out to join me on the 61st anniversary of my 39th birthday. <laughs> you know, tonight's a very special night for me. It's been a long time since I was able to communicate with the American people. And as a matter of fact, it was November 5th, 1994. And as I sat down to write that final letter, a lifetime flashed before my eyes. And some may even say several lifetimes. You know, I, I do recall visiting historic Philadelphia once and, and commenting how that not many cities had been around longer than I had. <laughs> well, you know, Thomas Jefferson has my favorite quote about age. He said that you should never judge a president by his age, only by his words. Ever since he told me that, well, I did just fine. <laughs> now, tonight is a very, very special night for me. Of course, well, at my age, every night's a special night. After all, I was born in 1911. Now, experts say that, well, I've exceeded my lifetime by several years. Now, that's a source of great annoyance to some, especially those in the Democrat Party. <laughs> yes, you know, as I look back on my life, I realize that I've seen many things. I've seen the birth of communism and the death of communism. I've witnessed the bloody futility of two world wars, Korea, Vietnam, and the Persian Gulf. I've seen television go from what was once a parlor novelty into the most powerful vehicle of mass communication in the history of man. I saw Germany united, divided, and united again. And as a little boy, I saw streets filled with Model T's, and as a man, I had the privilege to meet men who walked on the moon. But as I look back on my life, I realize that I'm a humble man from modest beginnings. We weren't a wealthy family growing up in Illinois, but we were Americans. We were emotionally healthy and blessed. And we admired those who had the moxie to push out the boundaries of life. Now, mother always said that God had a purpose for everyone in life, and whatever happened, even, even though it seemed like it may be the most random twist of fate, was all part of his plan. And that even when you had bad times, even when something horrible happened, you shouldn't let it get you down. You should step away from it, step over it, and just simply move on. Of course, I had to learn that lesson early in my lifetime. When I was fresh out of college, I lost my job running the local Montgomery Ward Sporting Good Department to a former superstar on our high school basketball team. Well, little did I know it then, but that was my first step in my journey that would lead me to a very long and fulfilling life here in America. Tonight, I'd like to share a few of those stops with you, but don't worry. As Henry VIII once said to each of his six wives, I won't keep you long. <laughs> <laughs> 